Hey, Hugh Taylor here, and today we're going to talk about articles versus press releases and discuss why I can't, quote, place an article for you. Can you place an article about me in the news? Can you, can you get an article about me in the news? Or can you publish my article in the news? I get asked this question a lot. It come up, comes up a lot in discussions with clients, and prospective clients. And it's an understandable question, but partly because I'm in an industry, unfortunately, where there's a lot of hype and some even potentially misleading information about what people like me can do for you. And it's also based on some very understandable confusion about the difference between an article and a press release, which is kind of a esoteric thing in the news industry. And most people don't know about it and shouldn't know about it. It's why would you know? But that's the reason for this video. I want to explain to you how this all works and why the answer is really no, I can't place an article for you, but sort of yes in certain cases, and we'll get to that. First, let's talk about the differences between articles and press releases. An article, if you open a magazine or a newspaper or a website, you'll see articles written by reporters based on stories they find interesting or which they're assigned to write by editors, like most news sites have articles about events in the news like congressional hearings or you know speeches by politicians or sporting events or something that's happening and they go and write an article about it a press release is written by newsmakers when i write them all the time i've written over 4000 of them in the last 10 years people want to make news you want to announce a product you want to announce an event or something you want, you write a press release to announce your news to the press and then you send it to the press. That's so not the same thing. The press release is not an article. Sometimes people refer to a press release in art as an article, and it's an understandable mistake, but they're not the same things, and I really encourage you to understand the difference. And I'll just show you side by side, and I'm gonna zoom in on one of these in a second. On the left, we have a press release, okay, which is Maria Conchetta Winery unveils luxurious experience, sparkling sensation. It's announcing that this winery has a new dish with wine and caviar it's kind of nice and everything but it's their announcement of their news it's not in the news it's not an article on the right we have an example of an article from the washington post which is about an artist okay and i'll, I'll just want to zoom in on this for a second and show you what what this looks like so here we have washington post major news site it's an article written by this person named kathy free she's the reporter she was either assigned this story or she found this artist on her own, or maybe the artist sent her a press release. I don't know, but somehow she found out about this artist. She looked into it. She wrote the story that she wanted to write. It's the reporter writing the story. Okay. And the article is her words and it starts, you know, late at night while most everyone's asleep, David Linden sits in front of a microscope making tiny works of art. So the article, it's written like an article. There's a lead in, it's written kind of an interesting way. It's not an announcement of news. If this were a press release, it would be like David Linden um, announces new painting, right? That would be the press release. That's the article instead. So I hope you can see the difference. They're not the same thing. Okay, how does an article come into existence? Let's dig a little deeper into this question. <clears throat> There's a couple of ways that an article can come into existence. Usually a reporter elects to investigate a story and write about it. The reporter says, I'm interested in why there's pollution in this neighborhood. He or she goes out, inter interviews people who live there, interviews government officials, interviews the companies that are suspected of polluting, etc and writes an article about it. And we've all seen these kind of stories. Alternatively, an editor at the news site or the newspaper says to the reporter, you know, there's pollution in this neighborhood, you know, go investigate and write a story about it. Okay, <clears throat> that's generally how articles get into the news. In some cases, the process is triggered by the arrival of a press release or a press release helps in the creation of the story. This can happen so like, for example, let's say that you're a plaintiff in a lawsuit related to pollution in this neighborhood. You write a press release announcing your lawsuit. You send it to the reporter. This may be helpful for the reporter in writing the article. OK, but one thing I want to mention is usually it's not. OK, usually reporters consider press releases to be a nuisance. 
they're not, they're busy writing a story about pollution. It's their story. It's important to them. You're announcing, uh, you know, that you're having a, a sale at a tire store or something like they're not interested in your news unless it, has, it relates to what they're working on. So there's sort of a the opportunity to get yourself into the news may or may not have to do with a press release. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. So how does a press release get into the media? So there's two basic ways. One is distribution or syndication, which is a service I offer, as well as many people offer this service, which you find from like PR Newswire, EIN Presswire, Businesswire, and so forth, which is an automated process that puts your news, your press release into a news feed. Okay. Or like we said, the reporter writes a press release based on on the press release you send them. And I want to just show you something here because this is a I get asked a lot, can you put my can you put my article on Yahoo News? Okay. So the basic answer is no, because this is Yahoo News. Okay, and I want to point out something to you. This is the health news feed on Yahoo News. Every story here comes from another major outlet. Yahoo News is an aggregator of stories. So this one comes from Washington Post, USA Today, Washington Post, CBS News, Good Morning America, Associated Press. You see what is going on here? There's no press releases here. Same thing with Yahoo Finance. Okay, I want to show you something, but there is an important exception here. Financial News. This is from Reuters, Bloomberg, Reuters, 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 um, Bloomberg, etc. Okay, so again, Yahoo Finance aggregates news from other established news sites. Now, here's an interesting thing. So here's Yahoo Finance also. Now, this is a press release. It's totally a press release. Sea Wolf Water Resources announces, okay, it's a press release. They're announcing expanded produced water management, etc. There's a dateline, Midland, Texas, etc. Et the question is, how did this get here? The answer is it came from PR Newswire. You see that? PR Newswire from Cision. So you can pay PR Newswire, which is a press release distribution service, about five to six hundred dollars and they will put your press release onto Yahoo Finance. And I want, so that's great. Now I just want to point something out also. Where is this on Yahoo Finance? It's, I looked, I do not see, maybe I'm not looking in the right place, but it's hard to find. It's not like the news, the, the site has some kind of press release feed, but it's on the site. So it's legitimately on Yahoo Finance, but it's not, it's not here. It's not on the feed. Okay. So it's just an important thing to, to, to notice that there are ways to get your press release you know, listed on Yahoo Finance, but you're not placing an article on Yahoo Finance. That's something different. So I wanted to just offer those or some insights into the differences between press releases and articles and just also mention that there are other ways to get into the news. Press releases are not the only way to get into the news. You can be a source. You can query reporters and see if they're interested in talking to you about your expertise. If they're, you know, if you're an expert in a certain subject and you communicate with a reporter who covers that subject, they may want to talk to you about your story, about your expertise for an article they're writing. You can look at helpareporter.com, which is kind of the opposite, where reporters actually request expert input. They want to talk to you. You can hold an event. There's a lot of ways to get reporters engaged with your story and get yourself into the news. But again, you can't, you can't just tell them, I want to write an article. And also you can, there are certain sites that will accept contributed articles. That's a completely different thing. Um, that is where you write an article and send it to the media outlet and they may publish it. That's a completely different thing. That is a legitimate way to get an article in the news. It's a lot of work, but it can help it. But it's, again, it's not like I'm just taking an, I'm not just like getting an article written magically about you in the press. Um, you can learn more about all these different processes in my free ebook, Stop Being Invisible. There's a link uh, below if you want to get it for free. And um, maybe we can help 
if, if you if you want help with this kind of thing, let us know. We're available. There's a, actually a link below. You can set a meeting to talk with me, or you can visit our site, commsfactory.net. So thanks for being with us today for this, I think, relevant story.